Google is the ruler of internet but Adobe they are the king of all creative softwares so let's discuss about complete Adobe products so it's really interesting some of the product you already know some of the product you don't know so let's check it out first one create Adobe creative cloud so this is a base app uh, software because you can download all their product from this Adobe creative cloud next one is Photoshop so everyone know because most of the people using this one uh, you can create uh, advertisement photo manipulations uh, yeah a lot of things you can create a lot of creative advertisement and also digital painting uh, it's, it's a multi uh, optional software you can create some digital illustrations and concept art for movies or yeah, just a concept art and you can uh, beautiful you can make it more beautiful your illustrations uh, adding noise and a lot of things and also you can create a lot of advertisement like this so that's just a base one and also you can create some animation inside the photoshop the frame by frame animation it's a new feature new feature means yeah csc i think it's coming from csc anyway next one is lightroom and lightroom and lightroom classic this is absolutely the pure photo editing software uh, you can they are providing a lot of uh, control for photo editing you can color grade your photo like cinematic anyway there's a lot of options available uh, because this Lightroom mostly photographers will use use uh, this is the only the tools available for photo only but it's pretty good yeah next one is illustrator one of my favorite so this is like photoshop but the thing is the output is vector that means the quality is uh, in infinite so people are using these illustrator for creating logos and some yeah, illustrations obviously and yeah, a lot of stuff you can create with inside this illustrator but photoshop is raster illustrator is vector anyway you can create you can create you can turn your photo into illustrate illustration and your drawings also you can turn into these kind of illustrations yes it's pretty cool and also you can create a lot of typographies and yeah it's endless possibilities like photoshop <laughs> same anyway next one is after effects okay this is illustrator interface but if you are creating any character in illustrator you can animate those character in after effects like this so the after effects is using for motion graphics and vfx and animation also so this is one of their uh, high end rated uh, software you can create you can animate your titles and you can animate your movie title typography and a lot of steps you can do inside this after effects and sometimes you can create some vfx also you know the doctor strange style and yeah a lot of plugins also available and some motion graphics video this is just a sample only and movie titles typographies and yeah so possibility is endless because the lot of plugins are available so Sometimes you can convert your photo into 2.5D photos, something like this. You can animate your photos and explanatory videos, character animation, cartoons, everything you can build inside this After Effects. Anyway, next one is Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is just a video editing. Uh, actually, the After Effects, After Effects is an advanced version of Premiere. That means Premiere is just a video editing only, but you can have a lot of options inside Premiere also. Uh, transition, custom transition like this, and typographies, color grading, everything available in this Premiere. Most of the vloggers, YouTubers using this Premiere is a uh, competitor uh, for Adobe, not Adobe, sorry, FCP, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Rush is a video editing app for phone and smartphone anyway next one is media encoder media encoder is simple because it's a, uh, you can uh, export your video from photoshop and so not photoshop uh, premiere pro and after effects 
this is just encoding so straight on next one is adobe audition uh, you can turn you can enhance your voice and you can create a lot of dj mixes and everything inside this audition it's a complete audio editing and next one is animate frame by frame animation software uh, you know i think three years ago is is a flash now they just just rename it and they just change all the interface and everything now it's animate you can create this kind of uh, character animations you can rig your animation yeah a lot of frame by frame animation options available next one is in design is a media publishing software uh, you can create uh, newspapers brochures posters everything inside this so a lot of options available you can also create posters everything in photoshop and illustrator but a lot of uh, master options available in in design so that's why people are using InDesign. It's a media publishing. Next one, I can see you can create a lot of brochures and everything. InCopy. InCopy is used to, to integrate with InDesign. You can work multiple times in a different place. Next one is Adobe XD. It's a trending, it's a new software from Adobe side. You can develop your UI for your mobile app, website, no matter. So you can prototype inside this XD. Nowadays it's really trending. A lot of job also available in this XD. So it's pretty cool. I just tried, uh, I think last week I just tried this XD. It's pretty cool. So a lot of options available for UI designers. So next one is bridge. Bridge is it's a, not a big one, but it's just a library you can access all your photos and you can bridge in between photoshop and for premiere and after effects it's really cool so i'm not user uh, i'm not using this bridge but yeah just know just understand what is bridge that's it so next one is fuse fuse is it's a 3d templates for characters this is one of my favorite because I create a lot of character inside this fuse. You can customize your character, their clothes, their face, their head, everything you can customize. Most of uh, above all, you can animate the character from Mixamo and you can import into your projects. So next one is Fresco. This is a drawing app for iPad, but this is little like not little. This is really expensive. That's why it's not popular. So but because Procreate is available for Pro, uh, iPad with cheap price, that's why. But the thing is, you can uh, sync your Photoshop brush and everything into this fresco. Next one is Substance. Actually, this is not an Adobe product, but I think 2019 January, Adobe acquired this Substance. Actually, you can create a lot of uh, the real time, the realistic textures. You can paint realistic textures in this substance that's why it's very really important for 3d designers and preload preload using for to organize all your footage so it's good for movie productions and heavy video production team because you can uh, organize all your videos and you can export into uh, premiere pro or final cut whichever you are using you for video editing anyway it's uh, just organizing Social for videos and dream viewer this is king of web designers is the most important software for web designers you can develop your website inside this uh, is a pure html bootstrap based software you can edit everything there's a lot of options available personally i created my website inside this dream viewer anyway next one is character animator it's a mocap motion capture uh, animator for from adobe side you can animate your character you can rig you can rig your character and you can animate based on uh, your facial facial expression so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's really interesting see look at that automatically you can record these animations our facial facial expressions next one adobe dimension uh, it's a 3D mockup. Uh, you can create a lot of 3D mockups, and you can download a lot of 3D objects from their Adobe Stocks also. So it's a basic rendering, uh, basic rendering from Adobe side, and Acrobat DC. 
creating PDF, reading PDF, that's it. But lot of option for under this creating PDF. So you can combine while organize, you can set a password, a lot of options available for uh, PDF creators. Yeah, that's it. And I don't know how to pronounce this arrow, Adobe arrow. Uh, anyway, it's a 3D VR uh, and AR app from Adobe. You can present your design in a real time and see just you have to create some 3d elements then present in you can present in real time anyway next one is behind <laughs> is their uh, portfolio means they're showcasing website you can also upload your work so and also you will get a lot of inspiration from behind also and next one is adobe portfolio adobe portfolio is a just a website builder but there's a lot of templates available uh, it's good for creating portfolios because they are providing a lot of templates for based on the portfolio so that's pretty good and spark a lot of application inside you can available it's basic for mobile and everything and next one is chalk you can get a lot of chalk videos images from this website and type kit it's all about font yeah fonts are available on here and these are the discontinued uh, softwares from adobe flash i already told say now it's animate cc and firework muse speed grid speed grid for color grading nowadays no one using this speed grid that's why they are discontinued and if you are going to their adobe's website you can see a lot of uh, marketing tools from this adobe adobe analytics audience profile content management a lot of options available but these are the product from adobe so just know just understand these things so that's it cool